It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Yes. If you're on live, I assume you know who we are. Uh, maybe. If this is your first introduction to us, then you're in for a treat. I'm in for a treat. I uh, made these. <laughs> treat right they're, there. Okay, so they're brown butter, bourbon, and toasted, roasted marshmallow? Toasted marshmallow? I don't know uh, what you get the marshmallow. Rice Krispies. And uh, I used Michter's because... I like Michter's. I think it has kind of like a toasty marshmallowy flavor sometime, which I very much enjoy. Uh, so I used just like regular Michter's small batch in them. Uh, and then I roasted the marshmallows and browned the butter. And then I was like, well, I'm going to pair it with a even nicer Michter. So I got the 10 out and Bam. I thought, who doesn't want to hear me chew? <laughs> and that's what I thought to myself. So here you go. Sorry, headphones people. I work so hard to, to edit out all of the lip smacking mm -hmm. and things of our produced videos just for us to do it on live you know still testing this recipe tweaking it trying to mm -hmm. fine-tune it make sure before I put it out into the world yeah I like it it's definitely better than version 1.0 oh much better than version 1.0 <laughs> and it pairs really nicely with that Mictors 10 whoa that's a new way to experience it. I hadn't tried it. Uh, hadn't tried it that way yet. Wow. All right, I promise we won't keep eating these too long. I mean, they're pretty good. Hmm. I don't know. There's something about Rice Krispies. Like, they're so simple. Like, this is not the best thing I've ever made. But they're so simple and comforting. And I like the crunch. True. Speaking of comforting, Sarah made a steak and ale pie for dinner because she's been missing Scotland. And, it's been cold uh, in here in the mornings. It was your first time making it too, right? It was. Yeah, in Kentucky, when we oh, wake yeah. up in the morning, it's been, you know, in the 50s. It's a little chilly. Well, I don't know where you live. That may or may not be cold for you. And then by the afternoon, it gets up into, like, the mid-70s to 80, which is basically exactly how it was when we were in Scotland. Cold in the mornings, warm in the afternoons. And in, I don't know. I've just been missing it. Wow. So, yeah, I made a good. steak and ale pie with a imperial stout and some veggies. Some of the veggies came from my garden, and I was very happy about that. There you go. Look at me, but I made my own pie dough too, and that was nice. Pretty heavy base, so um, if we start nodding off about halfway into live, Chad sleepy. Because, <laughs> and I, you didn't completely finish yours, so I finished yours. So I've got a lot of steak and ale pie in me right now. It was version 1.0. And uh, the dough on the bottom didn't get done enough for my liking. Well, it's only because if we were on the Great British Baking Show, I would have been kicked out. It would have been well. That would have been it. We had. We were on a timeline, right? We had to eat That's so true. we could be here for you all. So I had to pull it out. You could of the have oven. left it in another five to ten. But, I should have. You know, we should have just done that. We and would have had it afterwards. We could have eaten it on here. Burnt roofs of our mouths. It's true. It was too hot to well, eat that, right away. Yeah. Anyways, this is a lot of details that you probably don't want to know. But I was mm. missing Scotland, and one of the things that I loved from over there was the steak and ale pies. <clears throat> yep. So I made one, and it was good. I can do better. Version 2.0 will be much improved. We have our first super chat of the evening. It's from Nick. He says it's, uh, what's it say? It said it'd be, it'd be nice, nice if, if, you, if you could share. <laughs> I mean, I share, can share the recipe where right. I'm at right now mm -hmm. with you. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, just a quarter cup. <laughs> no. This. It's, yeah. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Boom. So, uh. I mean, I could tell them really quickly. If you want. Do you want me to tell? You, Chad does not want me to tell you, <laughs> so. Not. I will release it at a later do date. Do not care. It's fine if you do. No, I'm saying I don't care if you do. Uh-huh. Hey, come here. Look at me. You have an eyelash. Thank you. Oh, bloop. You just wanted to pinch my face. Kind of. All right. This, by the way, is going to be at the uh, the Big Bourbon Night. It's going to be on the bar, one of the bottles. So we had, to, <laughs> we had to steal a little bit for it. But this will go back in the area that is reserved for the Big Bourbon Bar at the Big Bourbon Night. Bourbon Bar, November 10th. All right. November 10th. Yep. And the 9th, there are still a few tickets left for the E.H. Yeah. E. Taylor Barrel Proof Dinner. I can't believe that. A little surprised by that. We Crazy. haven't really promoted it locally, just through like Patreon and on the show. I guess we can get our local Bourbon Society members in on it. Mm -hmm. yeah, 150 sure. bucks, I mean, which is a lot, but you get dinner and... I mean, going all the way back to six, batch one of E.H. E. Taylor Barrel Proof. Yeah, releases starting with batch one. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Cocktail, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so 
you guys kind of know from the thumbnail what we have to choose from. We're not going to be able to get through all of them. <laughs> and, and some maybe we might want to, you know, we'll gauge your all's opinion. Might want to save for like an uncorking or, or something. Not that live isn't, you know, a great platform. Network's done it. To do it's it, so but, good. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes if we want to put a little more time and attention into um, something with a little bit more fanfare, we could save it for an uncorking. So, uh, what should we start with? I kind of don't want to stop this, but I will. I, I think you kind of should, otherwise, no, they're, they're going to be mad at you. That's true for so much chewing, but okay. It'll be there. Okay. It's not like it's going to get cold that's or true. hot. That's the nice thing about it. It's just going to stay at its. Correct temperature. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm not mad I at guess. it. I guess. Yeah. I guess I could put a a poll out. Well, okay. We got we got some votes coming in already. Kilko says the four roses. Mm -hmm. We got Lionel saying the two XO. We have two. Two for Bakers. Two XOs. Bakers is the one I'm thinking maybe we shave for an uncorking. I don't know. That's just my opinion. We haven't done that before. <clears throat> I guess we did the. We did the the very first. Um, mm -hmm. We could mm -hmm. actually compare them. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's all the votes. <laughs> so, you know. And that's all the votes. We've got that. Um, so the Baker's is on the table, but it's not on the table. Well, it it, it is. You're just going to have to convince me. Uh, <laughs> we've got the Maester edition of uh, Kentucky Owl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, oh, we have the 202303 20, Mighty Fine Batch of Bookers. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that tastes like. The Old Route 8 Augusta. I think we should do the bookers Before because we're not going to do it on an uncorking, okay. right? And it is the latest, and they might want to know true. whether or not mm -hmm, when it comes on their mm -hmm, area, mm -hmm. they should get it. But it is higher proof, so maybe we save it a little. Okay. We have uh, two versions of the 2XO. We have more of the the flagship $50 bottle, the American Oak, and then we've got the, the third in the latest Icon series, which is called Tribute? Question mark? Tribute. Yes, the Tribute. Okay. Well, let's the tribute do, blend. Let's do the American Oak. Let's start there. Let's do it. Two X. I'm just gonna make a call. Two X O in it, and we got Michael with a super chat. If you want to do I'm it, so Sarah. I'm so in the sweatshirt. Um, he says, if you really try and care about us, you'll get through the all the hall bottles. Aw. <laughs> How about you try and care about my liver a little bit more? <laughs> no, I'm try to. Mildly kidding. Although Care about it was, our Monday morning. was not pleased after last weekend. And I think I took it relatively easy. My body was unhappy with me. You did not have much of a voice last Sunday. I lost my Sunday. voice. Well, two days of pretty much nonstop talking at Bourbon Fest and Bourbon Fest related events. And then another day of being at a wedding from sun up and sun being in a wedding party, sun up to sundown. So it was just nonstop mm -hmm. talking all day, talking over music, yeah. talking over other people. By Sunday morning, I... Thank you, Michael. This was how I sounded. <laughs> because I, if I talked louder than yeah. that, it really hurt. So, would But I was fine. To... I wasn't sick. I just couldn't talk. Would have had to have uh, done like some of our uh, other channels and, <clears throat> and had the microphones come in so you could have been close. It would have been Whisper, Sarah. It would have been ASMR, a Sarah. And also, I didn't feel like drinking because I had three <laughs> days in a row of drinking. So Yeah. But really, it was because you had no voice. It was a bit of both. Yeah. I there mean, we go. We're gonna we're gonna listen to our bodies when they tell us to stop drinking. <laughs> Don't Must when, respect it, when your body says, Hey, the fourth day in a row, maybe not. You say, All right. All right, I, body. I Shut up, you. body. No, that's not what we say. Oh yeah, whatever. Okay. Chad, do not promote unhealthy drinking habits Pause on this for channel. Pork pop. I won't allow it. Boom. Alright. So this is the lower proof one. This one's ninety three. That's good. I think. I just want to taste it. 92. You were wrong. I stand corrected. 92 proof, but this is going to be blended for consistency. So this is uh, like a flagship. It's always going to be, or supposedly, always going to be on the shelf. It's a MSRP of around 50 bucks. Did you say supposedly? No, I don't say supposedly. Uh, I, I don't. Sworn. Okay. We have no instant replay. I believe you. Mm -hmm. If you say it's true. Supposedly. Okay. It's true. I heard it that time. But. <laughs> okay, here's the back of Zibeltol. The American Oak blends bold notes. Oh, these are just tasty notes. We don't want to know those. No, don't don't yeah. speak them to me. But 
you know the deal. 2XO, it's two times the oak. Pretend like I don't know the deal. For them that don't know the deal. 2XO, it's two times the oak. Two times So, double oak. barreling. That's the whole conceit. Um, not, I don't, that sounded bad, but... The whole didn't, concept. Didn't mean to be. It, you mean concept? Well, yeah. 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 I think you just used the wrong word. Well, it is the... Conceit. There's conceit, nothing wrong with that. But it's not like that's all they are. It's obviously blending. It's Dixon Deadman, formerly of Kentucky Owl. His uh, blending skills well, put You better make his... it up to him. You just insulted his stuff. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Dixon! <laughs> no. Uh, but the, the, the whole fabric behind 2XO is two times the oak. The oak. And also blending. So a nice little fruity... Fruity, floral... Kind of honey nose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The, no the noises. What's going on? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, this is important information here from Scott this Wednesday. Please join us at 8 p.m. Eastern on Hello Again Whiskey, Friends, and Mash and Drum immediately falling for a charity stream for one of our own, uh, Darrell. Uh, is that yes. correct? Whose daughter has leukemia. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah. Thanks, Please thanks for bringing that to our attention, Scott. And you all should do that. Definitely. Yes. And here is a GoFundMe for Drell right there. Ah, thank you for sharing, Scott. Yes. We appreciate it. Thank you. I'll leave that up for a minute. Okay. I mean, I get the double up. Admittedly... It's both, I mean, and this is just for my personal flavor pref preferences and proof preferences. Yeah. It is both, you know, a little lower proof than what I want, but it's also a little hot for being lower proof. But again, when mm. we're talking, like, I'm used to the 2XO that came out previously, like, this is the flagship one, so it's obviously going to be different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, 92 proof, so think around the lines of Eagle Rare... Elijah Craig being 94 proof, um, Green River, you know, the Russell's Reserve 10 year, that's 90 proof, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kind of, kind of in those realms or like, uh, Woodford Double Oak cause Double Oak. Is it? That's around that proof. Is it just spicy? Like, do you get mm -hmm. it on the finish? Do you get that no. wave of heat? No, but I've only had one sip. I want to, you know, second sip reveals all. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not really getting a wave of heat. I think it's it's pretty pretty easy. Huh. We're having a very different experience. Oh. Uh, I, I think this is a good question from Lionel, which is yeah. would this, you know, compete with other fifty dollar double oak products like Woodford Double Oak and Old Forester nineteen ten? Wait, it was very delayed, but yeah, like <sighs> top of the tongue, tip of the the uh... See I'm getting it more at the back. <clears throat> well I didn't mean tip of the tongue, I meant Surface of the tongue, if that makes sense. Yes. Like, yeah. Top layer. <clears throat> no, I do get that. It was, it was pretty delayed for me. So it's like. But it's not very long, so it's not much of the experience, I mm, guess. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. But how would it compare to Woodford or 1910? Um, that's a good. I mean, that, those are good comparison bottles. So that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Uh, 1910 is maybe a little more syrupy, kind of. It's got a little bit more sweetness to it than it this has. It has more of a coffee. Yeah, 1910 does. I think there's more like mm -hmm. notes being pulled out of the oak, like coffee and chocolate and cherry, um, in that double oak process. It's a little sweeter than this is, and then um, Woodford Double Oak is also kind of chocolatey and spicy, and uh, and a little bit chocolate. espresso also. <clears throat> I mean, when we think yeah. about our notes that we've given on Woodford Double Oak in the past, it's actually somewhat close to the description I would give for 1910. And I'm not really getting that here. So I would say you're you're yeah. still getting the Double Oak impact here, but not those notes. So if you right. just want to taste oak and not those other things. The espresso or the, the chocolate, chocolate. Or like cherry yeah. or anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But see, I really like those things in my Double Oak products. Like... I would say what this one has um, instead of those notes would be like black pepper. It does have some black pepper. Yeah. yeah. So it's got 
It's bringing more like spice notes from the wood. And I that think. does make a drink a little bit perception higher than the 92 proof. So if you're uh, kind of, you know, scared by the low 92 proof, you know, it kind of after having two or three sips, you're thinking this might be closer to 100. Not exactly 100, but you know. Yeah. It's, just, it's black pepper was a good mm -hmm. note. It's like, like that in the back of the tongue. Yeah. So, and again, me personally, like I love, I know this is American oak. Personally, lean a little bit more towards like a French oak. Not that I don't like American oak, but because I I think those typically come with more of that like vanilla, chocolate, coffee, all those types of things. Not every time, mm -hmm. but in my experience, I tend to find if it's French oak, I like it better. <clears throat> Super chat from Joey Tony Bag of Donuts saying, uh, "What bottle does the meetup? What bottles?" Uh, does the meetup get? Uh, I'm getting pretty jealous of you November kids. Can't wait to get back to Kentucky. Cheers. Uh, well, there's no public tickets left for the fall meetup, so we haven't been advertising the bottles that will be there, you know, publicly to get people to buy tickets. Correct, yes. Uh, but don't you worry, we haven't forgot about you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get, I, I'm trying to think off the top of my head because we went through our bottles the other day and we're sorting, you know, a little for this, a little for that. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Oh, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we were, this was like a week ago. I say the <laughs> other day. So a lot has happened in that time. Yeah. I can't remember what we pulled for what. It, it, and also, I don't know how to say well, it without. I also want to note that for the November event, we're all in one place. And so the bottles are like, the only thing that we can, not the only thing we can do to make they're it special, the main but they're the main attraction of yeah. what makes it special. For the fall event, other experiences have also been arranged that will be special in addition to having bottles. That's what I was, And I can't yeah. spoil some of them right. because they are surprises. So yes. but that's, thank you for that's the super chat, Tony. Uh, we haven't talked about them as much recently. Cool. That was a long answer. Didn't mean to be. Don't <laughs> yeah. know why I did that. Mm, mm, well, now mm, I kind of want to try the uh, the fancier, fancy pants one. Uh, Chris is asking, do you need to get into his bunkers for your birthday? Uh, that sounds... <laughs> <laughs> bunkers. Uh-huh. It's an interesting <laughs> offer. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh. Um... I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I'd like that. to get into I mean, those bunkers. Let's be real honest here. I don't need anything. Uh... I am not going to no suffer. Right. I'm perfectly well taken care of and happy and honestly pretty spoiled. Uh, and I'll be the first one to admit it. I don't want for much around here. So I'll have to consider what my heart desires. I don't know yet. It's true. But can we try the... Uh, and also that's several weeks away. I mean, I guess yeah, they'll only be here for a limited time. Mm -hmm. A limited edition. Limited edition. Um, Should I'll, think, we try? I'll think about it. The fancier one. The tribute blend. Because I'd like to compare them and say, you know, is it worth, like... Is it worth it? I knew you were going to do that. That's why I stopped dead in my tracks. Don't go any further or else I will leave. Uh, <laughs> you're pushing it. <laughs> While I get that bottle, why don't you answer this question, sir? Okay, I'll try. Uh, Devin says, hey guys, I'm wondering how much you would be willing to pay for your first and only bottle of Stag Jr. First and only? <sighs> That's a real good question. Well, it doesn't mean it has to be your only. You could get another one. But it would be he the first. He said your first and only. Yeah. That's a real good question. Because, like, typically I would say I w wouldn't pay more than double and honestly like for stag jr i would personally not like to pay more than 100. Ha easy for someone to say who's had a lot of releases. correct i've had a lot of them though and then when you put it in perspective of think about our best of the year blind contention we regularly put stag jr in and it almost always comes in top five if not top ten of some bottles that cost four, five, six times what it costs retail. Yeah. So when you're considering the quality of what's in the bottle, you could pay a lot more for something that's limited edition on the shelves right now that's not mm -hmm. gonna be anywhere near as good as Stag Jr. 
So I don't know. I mean, I guess like, I think I don't like this. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I know that there are people on both ends. And so someone's going to be mad and disagree with me because I'm saying you should pay more than two times what it costs. But I think, I think if you see it and it's $150, that's not abnormal. And yeah. I do think that it kicks a lot of $150 bottles butts. Like a right. lot of them. Because, you know, we've done um, blinds where it's come in above Daddy Stag, right? George T. Stag. Right. Which also doesn't cost $150 retail. Yeah, 100 But you look at that, it's probably going to be six to 800 you know, secondary, depending on where you are. So, I don't know. I would say I, I, I definitely feel you because... I too have, have have suffered from you know FOMO on things. So if I saw one for one fifty to maybe even upwards of two hundred, I would consider it. I would like for it to be one hundred and fifty or below. I'd though, like for it to be sixty five, but as it should be. But it it is tough. Um, I'm wondering if you've ever bought a pour at a bar. You know that's that's a great way to satisfy some curiosity. But then at that point, like if he still wants it, he's paid. Thirty to forty dollars for the pour at the bar, yeah. and then another hundred and fifty to two hundred. Well, for the I guess bottle. that's only if you're only finding it for like two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars. If it's more than, then, then but then you're still in if you end up. Well, then, but you, that at that point, what I'm saying is, if you can oh, only you, find it for two fifty, three hundred, and you never find it for any less, then get it at a bar, and at least then you'll know. And you can, what do you call it? Uh, appease your curiosity. Yes, you can satiate that that desire. That thirst. To get in those bunkers. Oh, um, my goodness. Okay. So this is the Tribute I, Blend, as you said. And you already did this? What? No. You, oh, I thought you were about to say some other stuff. I was just saying today was laundry day. I had to wash my bunkers. All right. Um, it's the third release in the ongoing small batch blend series. Uh, each release is unique, created by blending select stocks of his finest barrels and Crafted using, sorry, it's just, it's weird to read it the way I'm reading it. <laughs> and crafted using his double double barreling process. Um, okay, cool. It's a tribute, paying tribute to those Ooh. who came before you. It smells different than the American oak. Well, we it should a, be. We have a super chat here. Uh, it's ooh. A, ooh, a nice 1999 super chat. It says, uh, just do a two, uh, oh, sorry. Just got a 2XO, JD Bonded, Old Forster 1920, and Baker's Single Barrel. Speaking Thoughts of hauls. on those. Listen Thank to this guy. He's show. got his own little haul going. Like and I say your bunkers. little, like, not... I mean, it's not... I'm not... JD Bonded. You know what? I'm going to stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great value. We did an episode on that just, just like last week or something. It's a good value. Old Forester 1920, always a staple. solid. I feel like maybe has slipped a tiny bit, but still a great... You shut your mouth. A great value. I mean, I think uh, everything in the past yeah, yeah, yeah. five years has slightly dipped only because the demand is higher correct uh baker's uh single barrel you know 107 proof seven years at its youngest it's a single barrel though um can vary i've seen some like eight months eight year six month um ones always solid haven't had a bad one of those so i think you you made out well thank you for, thank you again for that super chat yes thank you all right so oh, what, what do you think these here? are way more my flavors yeah, this is more reminiscent of vanilla chocolate out here, like distillery. It wise. almost is reminding me of this, like, kind of toasted. Sort of like the Michters. Marshmallow, a little Michtersy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was gonna say maybe, sort of four roses. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. But that's sort of a softball because there's ten recipes, so you can be like, that's gotta it's be one gonna of be them. It's gonna be one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and the the banana leather one, <laughs> not the ripe fruit and spice one. Yeah. Or rich fruit, whatever it's called. Who can memorize all those? Brent Elliott, I guess. Brent Elliott. <laughs> Good it's for his job. him. Deal. What? This is much more my vibe. Mm -hmm. It's got those more desserty, little bit of spice. It's still got yeah, still got that little creeping heat. It does. It's got like a little cinnamon mm -hmm. and pepper, but there is more chocolate, vanilla. The oak is definitely still the main character, though. Mm -hmm. Right? It is lead. Um, Just reading comments. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm here too. <laughs> you said the lead was the last thing you said. Yeah, the oak is. Yeah. Um, which for me personally, it's getting a little close to my oak threshold. Mm. Like, 
Not it's not there yet, but right. it's getting there. Yeah, we have different thresholds uh, for yeah. oak. Yeah. So for me, now this one it's getting there. Is double the price of the American oak. This one's 99.99. Um so how would this compare to like Woodford Double Oak 1910 American Oak? I think personally this one is more on par with those flavor profiles. Like in terms of the notes that it's bringing. More the chocolate, not so much the espresso, which Ye I like. That's what kind of killed mm -hmm. me on 1910. Yeah, I like espresso, so. But I did come around to it because I did pick it blind in, you the, did. in the thing. I like 1910. But, um. I don't know what you're talking about. I think also it might sort of be the, the, the steak, and ale, steak and ale pie, maybe. It is pretty rich. As, uh, oh, yeah. did it burn your tongue? I don't think I burnt, no, but... It was very heavy. It was very heavy, and maybe everything tonight is going to taste a you little know, spicy. It's kind of like a stew with mm -hmm. inside of a pie. I feel mm. like we'd be having a little this bit different really experience good. if we had eaten like a salad before I know this or I had, something. I know, right? <laughs> I know we just ate it, but I kind of want to eat it again. Yeah, I kind of... I kind of uh, hmm. Although I'm very full. <laughs> yeah. It's just so cozy. Anyways. Yeah. But I'm sure someone proof. will ask me to put bourbon in it. Make a version <laughs> that has steak and ale and bourbon. Steak and whiskey instead of steak and ale. That's steak too much. You couldn't do it. 104 proof on this one. So this it's, is definitely uh, 12 points higher. And it's noticeable. So would you spend the $50 and get the flagship? Or would you spend the $100 and get this? I think I would spend the 100 and get this. I agree. Now, I would have to go back and compare it to the other two versions. Of, let's see if I can remember them. Phoenix... Oh, I did like and, that one. Which one was the second one? Phoenix. Uh, no, Phoenix was the first one because it was rising from the ashes. Second one was Lamp Light in Innkeeper, Innkeeper, Innkeeper Blend. Lamp Light. <laughs> I had to get there. <laughs> Lamp Lighter. So I like the second one better, I think. Than Phoenix. Yes. I remember that. But I don't know if I would like this one or Phoenix better. Better. Or, sorry, this one or Lamp Light. Innkeeper. Innkeeper. <laughs> well, where is it at? Oh, Sarah, it's... Okay. I And I guess this episode isn't all about that. So yeah. on another episode. Yeah. On a very special episode of... It's <laughs> well, we can wait till he comes out with the fourth in the icon. We'll do a flight. And then we can do a flight. Love we could it. also do, I already saw someone suggest it, uh, another double oak flight. Because we can do the 1910, the uh, Woodford, mm -hmm. the American. There's lots of them. There's lots of them. Peerless. Um, mm. Nulu, uh, Penelope? Oh, double side oak? by side. Penelope, question mark? This is, this. I drank all of mine, but. Okay. We can move on now. We have spent nearly half the time so far on this. <laughs> well, we had to talk about we had to talk our about dinner. Mictors, and we had to talk about <coughs> the dessert. Sean Dobbins, Super Chat, saying cheers. Cracked my Maker's Mark cellar age today. Wow. Mr. Katea. Makers should only produce that from now on. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, what? A little welcome back, Cotter? Before our time. Before my time, honestly. He doesn't notice. You're eating the thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I noticed. I'm just used to the side eye being because I, uh. Made a reference I don't made know. Made a reference, yeah. Why don't I know it? Because you're so young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so young. Just a baby. Um, yeah. Saw, saw on Instagram that Sean uh, put, in his, put in his work and, and got that at the distillery. So I'm glad to hear that you like it. We should be getting ours in our maker's drop. Whenever they decide to drop it, I'm tired of being the only person in the world who's not had... Oh, Wow. Do you guys hear that? Sellers age. Yeah, that little It's the world's violin. tiniest violin playing just yeah. for chat. He never gets anything, you know? I'm so mistreated. And then <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany. Uh, Tiffany the super chat. Happy birthday, Kevin. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Can we all just uh, wish my hubby, Kevin Weber, a happy 51st birthday no this way. Friday, September 29th? No way is he 51. No way. That's what Tiffany says. We cannot wait to see you guys on November 9th and 10th. Yay, we can't wait. Tickets still available. Thank you, Tiffany. And Sean, this will be a dual, if I can find my cursor, a dual cheers. Oh, but I want something new for the birthday. Okay. Chad said no. For now, we can we can do birthday also. This is for the super chat. Mm -hmm. There can be... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
That actually worked. I did it and it stopped. I think it was just over already. No. I think it was just like a gurgle grumble that it ended naturally. But... Incorrect. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Silly woman. <laughs> oh my. Wrong. It's science. Um, all right. So we did the two two XOs. Mm -hmm. Now we need to hear. Oh, don't go back up there. No, I'm not. Um, let's just make sure we're caught up on our super chats. Oh. So sound off. Uh, oh, I Gramps, saw... Gramps is still waiting for it. I saw for what? Makers. Oh, I saw one vote for four roses before. Um, yep, I do cool. think that we should open the bookers, but it's, mm -hmm. we have 30 minutes, so I think we should do that towards the end. What do y'all think? Um, the Augusta, the bakers, if enough people... The Augusta is high, too, in proof. Okay. If enough people get on board with the bakers, I'm sure we can bend Chad's will. Um, we did the Castle and Key on the episode. A little. I mean, we... You know, a little. Lightly. Yeah. yeah. Also a more affordable bottle. True. Yeah. Um, I Got don't that know. maester. Nothing about that Hardens Creek. That Hardens Creek isn't up there. Oh, well, it, it's right next it, to the other is, bottles. It is, but it's not a thing. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, uh, bakers. Bakers. Backers. He meant to say bakers. You leave them alone. I don't know. JG wants Jaeger. That's not going to happen. Um, someone said, where did it go? Malort. Oh, it d disappeared. Curious about the Augusta myself. Oh, there it is. Wigmaster said, open the bookers now and let it open up. Ah. An Augusta, but mostly votes for the bakers. Hmm. And Derek said, you have to. Oh, you have to. Yeah, but. I thought he was saying you have to, <laughs> but with the two, you know. No. The Elijah Craig 18, Corey says. I don't know. You tell them no. The boogers. Hmm. Bookers. <laughs> Does it sound like I say that? Bookers. No. It kind of does. I could see how it could. Bookers. Would. Book yeah. Bookers. Bookers. <laughs> bookers. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Y'all have to excuse our Kentucky Southern drawl. Oh, don't do that. Get out of here. <laughs> Well, you know we're done with this. Someone on YouTube really thinks that we're serious when we do that. They what? were like, what? How does Chad put up with this? Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's so mean to him. I'm like, sir, <laughs> I baked him bread today, Rice Krispie treats, and a steak and ale pie. He's fine. <laughs> One twenty-six. So the Augusta is lower. Great, let's do it. Uh, and then also the Four Roses, of course, lower. Sounds like you like really don't want to open the bakers. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just... I don't know. Oh, I oh. feel like you're stalling. I'm not stalling. But maybe we should open the bookers and let it open up. I Still like, seems like a stalling. I like that Yes, suggestion. Gramps agrees. Opening up the bookers is a good call. Yeah. It's always good to let your bookers kind of air out. All right. A wee bit, right? I'm going to do it this time. All right. Smells. My hands also smell like onions and garlic because I've been cooking all day. Well, I gave you more than me. And I dripped. This is a well seasoned table. It's very well seasoned. This table is drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got this out, but I don't know why. Because we're just letting this. That's right. Air. Can you see this here? Is it in your way? Eh, a little, but it's fine. It's okay. It's foreground. Okay, so those are both bookers. Those are the bookers. Bookers. Book, bookers. Stano. So Cal said, nice pop, and I said, thank you. <laughs> I do what I can. Yeah. I have a little experience. We're going to do the Augusta, because we heard everyone saying we should do the Augusta. So everyone was like, Augusta, Augusta, Augusta. I was like, enough with the Augusta. Can I do this one, too? Already. Old Route 8. Old Route 8. Aww. The sequel was disappointing. <laughs> it usually is. But at, at least, least we she got, pours herself. At least we got a glug. I get in trouble ladies when first. I do that. That's because ladies first. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> thought it was just good hosting. No, what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine, Chad. You're right, right. it is good hosting. Yeah. 
So, uh, Augusta, old route eight. Um, we've had their thirteen and fifteen year. Like them. Yeah. Uh, but who, two I different mean, animals, completely, yes, different. and different tax bracket for those. <gasps> uh, this one won fifteen and uh, eight years. Single barrel. Okay. Uh, this one is one of those speed reading. Okay. This one is a uh, one twenty three point two proof. Can you scratch my back? Sorry. And it's killing me. It's uh yeah eight years old. No, nope. uh, it's okay. Bottle one oh eight. I got it. Barrel twelve. If anyone is following along at home, someone send Sarah a back. This is truly please. the worst. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> oh. I'm sure, I didn't. That's now I'm tired. Funny. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Somebody hire somebody to scratch my back. Just just be on standby. <laughs> Someone get her a cat that makes biscuits. <gasps> Super chat from Nick. Don't Speaking say of a that. cat. There's a cat. As is Avatar. A cat. Yes. Any update when you go back to the library? No bakers. Um Thank you, Nick. I also would like to know. Well, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> We're actually, I was making progress on that today. Just today. Just today, in fact. Uh, I feel like you all are going to expect like it to look completely different. It won't. And you're going to be in for a, a, a sorry reception there because it's not. It's, it's a just, bit of a reorg. Uh, yeah, a reorg and yeah. A not. little installation of this, a little removal of that. I mean, it, it we the placement of where we are in the room will be different so at least that will be a different perspective but yeah it's not going to look like the Taj Mahal all of a sudden or something one day uh, so the eight is crooked do you have a time frame for Nick oh um uh, uh in the, the, end the fourth year. quarter beginning of first quarter wow I'm just trying to to be realistic okay busy time it's true. Yeah. Is he Ooh. crooked? Maybe the label's crooked. What's he talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it. Maybe you're crooked. Are you watching uh, this way? Don't say that. Well, I don't know. Are you laying down? Oh, that's a good... It smells like bourbon. It's a good nose, though. No. It is good. It's very kind of toasty. Toasty and spicy. Like, this would be a good cold weather. It kind of smells like buttered toast, actually. Super. Mm, yeah. But, like, you really want to eat that piece of toast. Not like hotel breakfast piece of toast. Like, On somebody top. made that bread fresh, and the toast is very crispy, and the knife makes the sound when it mm -hmm. goes across it. Okay, they're saying on top, but there's no tax stamp, no tax strip. Is it here? To, uh, it's here. to fix. There's one here. Oh, yeah, but I that's don't... that's on the neck. I can't, I I can't adjust Just, that. I don't know. Don't or, worry about it. I would be. Free yourself okay, of this. Okay. <laughs> uh, super chat from, uh, is it uh, Jay Lee? I don't know. Don't look at me. Oh, I, you're the person who knows pronunciation much better than me. But Could super chat. Lee or Lay? Okay. Please let us know. Uh, for future reference, what's the worst bourbon you two have ever had? Oh, just the easy questions here from Jay. Uh, I've got one of the worst things I've ever had <laughs> was the Woodford uh, oh, cherry, wood cherry smoked barley. Cherry smoked barley. I have almost I can only think of like maybe a few times, maybe two times, and this was one of them that I have immediately like sipped something and then been like, I gotta spit this out. <laughs> um, in yeah. it for me, it was horrific. Yeah. Um, but I have never felt that way about anything else that Woodford has put out. I think it was just, I don't really like cherry. And I don't know, maybe just a smoke. I like malted barley, but apparently yeah. me and cherry would, cherry smoked barley or however it said. It was a no for me. Um, There's an episode. Um, like the worst. The worst bourbons we've ever had. We talk about the island of misfit. Isn't whiskeys. it almost relevant? Is it, a, it was Halloween or no? Yeah, I think it was a, a Halloween episode, mm -hmm. so it's probably like two or three years ago, next month, um, where we we have a, it's actually right here, this cabinet down here where we put bottles that we we, them. we don't do drain pours. That's not in our 
um, repertoire, I guess. Well, you also never know when you're going to need something. Yeah, you never, never know, or also taste change. So mm. we kind of went through what was down there. And I think then also we did a blind and things changed. Like I would have said it, it used to be the uh, Terrapure um, mm -hmm. bourbon where they, you know, tried to rapid age it. Um, that was not good. <laughs> there was a, uh, a a Cleveland that was not great. Um, things like that. But then, you know, you try them and your order changes. So I honestly don't know what it is. That Hudson. The Yeah, the uh, early... Hudson baby bourbon mm. was uh, did not agree with us. No. It's not saying that it's objectively bad because there are no wrong answers in whiskey. And especially when a brand is in business for years and years, it means someone is Somebody buying likes it, it and they're liking it. So you can't just say it's the worst, but you can just say personally the worst thing you had. And, and those, those were a few of mine. Very <laughs> political answer, Chad. Well, you know, the more, the more, and thank you. Appreciate the hard question. Uh, the more you get into whiskey and, and you meet people and you learn about the process, you realize that no one's just out there uh, half-assing it on purpose. Mm -hmm. There's jobs uh, on the line. That's There's uh, careers and dreams and uh, all this. And sure. just to completely crap on a whiskey, as fun as it can be, and it can be kind of contagious and... You start running with it, and that ball starts rolling down the hill, and you're like, yeah, let's keep piling on. But uh, there's people behind it, yeah. and there's people who like the whiskey behind it. But at the same time, we want to make sure we're not steering you all wrong. We're oh, not well, you know yeah, wrong we would about. never say, but you should probably go give it a try. Be like, if, you're, if you align any with our palates, this is a skip. Sure. This is a skip. My thing that I, I don't that I like to do, but I think what's helpful mm. for me is whenever I'm saying, yeah, this product is not for me. I do not like this. Almost every single time, unless it's the very first thing I'm having from a place, mm -hmm. I can most likely name you something else from that distillery that I do like. So I would say, I don't like this one. This isn't for me. I would much rather have their Insert whatever it is that I would rather have. So yep. for Woodford, I would much rather have their double oak, their double double oak, their batch proof. They got other things that I would much oh, yeah. rather have, oh, yeah. but I will never have that cherry <laughs> smoked barley again. No. It can be for whoever else wants it. Yeah. You Honest shall not pass. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that, that whole series, like the Masters Collection or whatever it's called, um, there's been a few misses that's definitely in our opinion the biggest miss mm. but um batch proof being the best that's the best wood for that I've had. well and i kind of proof. think that must be what the feedback that they got because i think they keep, that's, coming, they keep coming out with the batch more proof, releases right yeah but when it's like but i do like their experimental series they 1848 did a corn or whatever it was mm -hmm. it's like cool but not for 130 dollars see i would rather have yeah when they do the small and i think that they've kind of caught on to that like let's do the three seven fives and mm -hmm. the experimental stuff yeah okay it's 50 bucks and it's kind of hard to get your hands on but at least yes still it's expensive for a small quantity but at least you're not having to pay 130 plus dollars to find out if you like yep. it or not it's just you know it's something mm -hmm. that you you could split between two people for 25 bucks and that's like the same as going to a bar and you split it all and yeah it's like having four drinks or whatever yeah um that's yeah. a cheap bar <laughs> yeah um and you know like just the taste is subjective thing like vortex here is saying the worst bourbons i've ever had has been makers rc6 which we loved evan williams black label which is what got me into bourbon which isn't the best but it's you know good and jefferson's reserve which is fine you know and so that's not Again, wrong according to us according to vortex yeah. those are the worst things that yeah They've ever had. And that's cool. Yeah, I think every everyone is uh, entitled to their opinion. Yeah. Super that's why we talk. That's why we share. <laughs> Super chat here from Chris, our Aussie friends. Sarah needs more La Maison du Whiskey, Chad. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> what are you going to do about it, Chad? <laughs> uh, I didn't know I was supposed to do anything about your lack of La Maison du Whiskey. I didn't know you were either. I see one back there right now. We got a little bit. But it's I don't have it yet because, um, well, we should finish it. Yeah, we should. Well, it's still true. Good. I mean, not that it will turn bad, but you never know. You never know. Um, it's too far for my birthday though to have it now. Right. We should have it closer. Yes, closer. For yes, sure. closer. We'll be at Bourbon Chris. on the Banks on my actual birthday. Chris and Lil, 
who are in the States now. No fear of drop bears. There's stateside. Stateside. And giant spiders. And snakes in the pipes. Yes. And that sounded... Mm. Snakes in the pipes. But for real, <laughs> it's a thing that happens. And, um... I don't know. I just see the things on the news. Paul... What, what's... What's Crocodile Dundee's actor's name? Paul... Couldn't tell you. Oh, dang it. I think it's Paul something. Great. Right? Well, that really narrows it down. <laughs> Just one of the Pauls out there. Just one of the, one of the Pauls. All right, so let's talk about this. We have not talked about this. Oh, yeah. The it's, palette is a touch earthy. It's good. Uh, it almost reminds me of like some Knob Creek single barrels in the way that it's kind of mm. got that like earthy, almost nutty, but not really. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. I think it... it uh... Yeah, it's giving it's giving older Knob Creek single barrel or something. Or mm -hmm. Yeah. Without, without the, yeah, that nuttiness style down a little bit. The nuttiness style down and the earthiness mm -hmm. dialed up a little bit, but it's yeah. like in that realm. It's, see, I feel like it's it's dinner. I don't feel like this is as as hot as, um, I think everything's just been a little bit peppery to me tonight. I think it's just the, the hearty dinner. Um, so it's my fault. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fly in there. You son of a. Don't drink that. Go upstairs and get you a different one. I think it was just a fuzz. Oh. It wasn't like a bug. I thought you said, oh, I thought you said there's a fly in there. I no, said, something, don't. I said, did something fly into there? Oh, I was like, please don't drink that. And I mean, you can do whatever you want at home. It's fine. But like, no. No, it's fine. <laughs> there's a lot of germs on a fly. Um. That's contaminated. It's contaminated, yeah. I think that one took a second. <laughs> that is me at home with water. It's contaminated. It's true. Uh, no, but I'm with you on like the Paul Hogan. Thank you, Chris. Uh, yeah, sort of, sort of in the vein of Knob Creek. I think it almost reminds me of like a today's Knob Creek Nine, but with the mm -hmm. flavor profile of like maybe yesteryear's Knob Creek Single Barrel, like Fifteens. Mm -hmm. Like it has a lot of kind of wood, earthy funk, little bit of nutty in that. Older Knob Creek way, but it's yeah. but it's eight years, so and it might be from Jim Beam. You know, they are a, a non-producing distiller, um, well, or non-distilling producer. I always get that mixed up. It is kind of giving that vibe. It is, it is. So I would say if you like Jim Beam, but also remember that old granddad is also Jim Beam, right? And it doesn't have this typical nuttiness no, that yeah. I get with like. Core line beam product. I could see this being the higher ride, uh, granddad mash bill. I think so. I, I could too, mm -hmm. but who knows? Like Basil Hayden on steroids. Does anyone right? know? Because that's that's that mash bill. Where does it come from? Tell us. I don't it's know. It's probably not. It's not listed. It's not advertised, but there's always speculation. Somebody always knows something. Uh, you know what I mean? Larry here at Super Chat. Uh, I believe this might be your first Super Chat, Larry. If it is, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, and what? if it isn't, Chad, sorry that he didn't remember your previous one. <laughs> True. Uh, <laughs> what Kentucky only bourbon or rye do you recommend bringing back to North Carolina? Huh. Well, I would have said the Evan Williams single barrel. That's gone um, up in price. It has gone up in price. Yeah. It became Kentucky only, and I think simultaneously went up in price. Um, so I would have said that, except mm -hmm. it's still a good product. But that price, though, mm, it's a good product. Hold C on. Consider it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Help. I know I'm what gonna, you're gonna do. You're gonna read all the Pauls. I already know because you're just tickled. <laughs> Paul Hogan, Paul Giamani, Paul Blart, Paul Rudd, Paul Reserve, Logan Paul. Paul Reserve. No. Paul Revere. Paul Revere. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Paul Revere. <laughs> Paul Newman. Uh, Ron Paul. Uh, Jake Paul. As long as it's not Jake Paul. Uh, Paul Wall. <laughs> Are you done? I don't know. Are they done? Sure. Uh, I think they're done. I think they're done. I think they ran out of Pauls. Okay. Well, I'm glad yeah. you enjoyed yourself. But getting back to your question. Well, I kind of gave an answer. Yeah. Distillery only. Uh, I feel like we're... I mean, I think, hmm. you know... Oh, go to Michter's and do their, you know, bottle your own out of the barrel. Pricey. Pricey, sure. Um, if you call Four Roses, generally if they have um, a limited, like not a limited, but a single a single barrel barrel proof. Yeah, like to we put got out back here. Mm -hmm, 
If you yeah. call, they'll tell you if they have it in or not. And a lot of times, I mean, those are like gift shop only, right? So, yeah, and they're picked usually by, by Brent the Elliott. master distiller himself. Mm -hmm. So that's that's pretty cool. I would recommend that. Yeah. Um, and uh, again, like they do them fairly regularly, so it's not hard to come by. I'm trying to think of anything else. I mean, yeah, a lot of places have distillery exclusives. So if you're going to be going around to gift shops and stuff, just keep your eyes peeled for for those. It's hard to know because they are distillery exclusives. They don't get advertised a ton. Mm -hmm. It's hard to know but just, what exactly to Just call to and ask. You. They're not there to try to hide anything from you. Yeah. They're not going to say, well, come in. We can't tell you. They they will tell you. I feel like they'll tell you. Yeah. Um, I love how Chris is kind of fishing here. It's Chad out of Wild Turkey, 13 year at Wild Turkey Masters Keep, 1894. <laughs> You'd have to ask him, um, no. <laughs> not the 1894, because um, I figured that'd be my only one, so very sparse on, on that. The 13 year is a question mark. That one has been enjoyed. Just saying. Hmm, I didn't enjoy it. I mean, I did enjoy it, but I'm just saying I haven't been enjoying it. Yes, you have. Have I? Yeah. Hmm, I don't recall drinking it. Yeah. I feel like you're trying to convince me that I've been drinking this, and I haven't. Because <laughs> he has been. Uh, Jay. We'll just go with Jay. Jay. Because I don't want to say the wrong thing. And I know this is your second super chat, but your first super chat may have been your first super chat ever, which I didn't call out. And if I... it wasn't, Chad's a, sorry that he doesn't remember your previous super chat. Uh, last question for me. What bourbon surprised you the most? Low expectation, but high flavor. Oh. Ah, Jim Beam single barrel. 108 proof for under 25 bucks. I was like, Psh, wow, this is, this is really good. That might have been like 20 $21? Well, a few years ago, I would have said Wild Turkey 101 because it is so often quite cheap. There's the proof and the flavor is really good. Recently, as we found when we did our blind uh, 64 under 100, I don't feel the same way about it now as I used to, but apparently there's some whole internal thing about that. Yes. I won't get into it right now. Not that it's a secret or anything. I'm sure you can find out if you Googled it, but... Things maybe got off track and they're getting back on track, but it's going to mm -hmm. be a little before it gets fully back to where it was. Not yeah. that it's bad. It's just different. Just and I liked the before better than the after. The before four times. The before four times. Yeah. Um, so I would have said that before. Uh, now I think, I don't know. I'm really impressed with Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. I think for the price, mm -hmm. it's a solid product. Um, oh. It doesn't disappoint. I know. Go. Uh, Say it. Barstown Bourbon Company Origin Series. Oh yeah, that one's good. I mean, it yeah. did, for the value, like mm -hmm. under fifty bucks um, for the the two bourbons. And a lot of people really good quality. Would say, well, it's only six years, but you know, uh, just the other day, I was I had some example of something, and you forgot. Um, no, I remember now. It was actually right behind us. It's a Castle and Key, which is like four and a half year, one hundred one proof, uh, fifty dollars, but really, really good. And I was like, well, some people could say I could get Jim Beam white label that's four years and, sure, and go ahead. fourteen dollars. But there's different four years, just like there's different ten years, just like there's different every year. Just um, different flavor profiles. Yeah, just different flavor profiles. Um, You're supporting different businesses. So I that mean... six, yeah, the six years is things like age statements and uh, warehouse positions and proof and is all this stuff. Is it just a number, Chad? Well, it's a. It's a bar to give you some clue, but it's not meant to be taken like as uh, as fact. It's like it's they're little guidelines, not yeah, directions. Yeah, little notes of what you could expect, but don't judge a book by its cover type of thing. Kind of that thing. Yeah. Like just because something is this age, don't make assumptions yeah. about it. And that goes both ways. Just because something is. 15 plus years old, don't make an assumption that it is going to be good and worth every dollar that you spend on it. Especially if it's from a, a non-distilling producer, because Correct. why did they let that 15 go? Correct. Well, why did they let well, it go? Wrong with it? They didn't want it. I mean, That's not, not that they true. didn't want it, but... They were okay with letting it they go. They were okay with letting it leave. And why is that? It, that could be for many reasons. Could Contracts be. and things. Could but be. Maybe they didn't mean to let it go. Maybe the master still was like, you let what go? My most disappointing purchase ever was like, what, a 21-year-old? 22? 21 or 22, yeah. Uh, rhetoric. Rhetoric. Yeah, I hung on to it forever because I thought it was so special because of the age. And I tried it. And that's when I realized that I don't like things that old. <laughs> uh, I don't like how much oak it has. And it's it more was an a year. huge disappointment, Chad. Why did you say it like that? Because of what you said oh, right before. 18 years. Anyways. Thank you, Jay, for that super chat. 
Doesn't appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, Age is just a guideline. It's true. All right, let's catch up because we need to get to the bookers. Paul Harvey, RuPaul. Not catch up on these. Paul oh Rubens. Tall Paul. Polly Walnuts. Paul Malls. Uh, a Paul, a Paula Abdul. <laughs> Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul. Uh, Who's the other Paul? Paul Simon. Paul Simon. We already got RuPaul. RuPaul. We got Paul Paulie Rube. Shore. That's Paulie a good one. Paulie Shore. Paul Mall, he said it. Paul Mall. Okay. Paul Mollive. Uh, Paul Mollive. St. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Palm oil. Uh, <laughs> palm tree. No, wait. Where? How do we get on palm? Yeah, Paul. Paul. Mm. Hmm. Uh, and that's all. That's enough. Paul Russell? Let's stop. Okay. This show wasn't It's Bourbon Night, where we just recite the names of different Pauls. It's It was funny, and now it's not anymore. You made it go on for too long. It went too far. But think of the engagement, Sarah. The engagement. YouTube's going like, oh, these guys are on fire. Everyone's chatting in their chat. Let's push it to Everyone's more people. Everyone's chatting in their chat. They're chatting in their chat. They're, we're getting, and, and they're good, and they are good, but we're getting a lot of repeats at this point. So. Politics. <laughs> Okay, now you're just getting creative. <laughs> yes, Scott, thank you for keeping us on track. He said it's Booker's Booker's time. time. And I couldn't agree with you more. I, mm, something about that, I, I do enjoy. I like that. That was good. Yeah, like I said, it reminds me of like past beam things. So now we're going to confirmed beam. Confirmed beam things. Confirmed beam. I mean, if those aren't related, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this I'm a monkey's uncle. Well, I didn't say that, but... You'd be a monkey's aunt, I guess. I suppose. I'm a cool aunt. <laughs> I'm not like a regular I'm aunt. I'm not like a regular aunt. I'm a cool aunt. We can talk about stuff. So this, again, is the Mighty Fine Batch. It's 126.6 proof. Seven years, a month, and ten days. <sighs> smells like a booker's. Actually, it's not... I'm not getting a ton on the nose. But maybe that's just because it's been sitting here, uncovered. You know? Yeah, I feel ya. Slight nuttiness, but yeah. <laughs> Whew. Ooh, is it dry? It's a little dry. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, peanut I, shells. I don't, I don't know if it's just because of where we're coming from or like or you said, the dinner. I'm really tired of it right now. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I didn't say anything about Don't anyone you with do a it. name that starts with P. Oh. Ooh. Nice oh. little uh, dried oak finish. It went up my nose. Second sip, Sarah <laughs> is already on her second sip. But it's too hot. When you let it sit in, it's got a nice, yeah, um, real dried oak type of. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call that. I think I burnt my tongue a little bit on the dinner. And also, like you were saying before, like it was so rich and heavy. I I also think I might be a little messed up because this just tastes like fire to me. Oh. Hmm. I can't. And I know that it's like I can tell that it, that's not exactly. I'm not getting it right. Or so, I'm not afraid to say I don't like a booker's. <laughs> well, this can't be it. Um, But... I don't well, not, feel like I'm experiencing this properly. I haven't yeah. had this reaction in a while. Everything tonight has has just been hot on the tongue, mm -hmm. just like a lingering, this is real hot, lingering heat. And I, I, we did this on purpose because we wanted to. Sh we didn't, but we wanted to show you all that. Um, to one, don't make a call on whether you like a whiskey or not off of your first experience with it, because it could be what you had to eat. Or the way the wind is blowing from the southeast, or you know how a butterfly flaps its wings. Yeah. So I always try things on uh, you know different days, different different weeks, whatever. Let also, it open up, all that jazz. Don't eat stu super hot steak pie before you do a bourbon tasting. But secondly, don't eat super hot steak and ale pie before you do a bourbon tasting. Yeah, just don't do it. Just avoid, avoid it. Yes. Because I think we've been compromised here, people. I think I've been compromised a little bit. The how? Uh, what was the proof on the Augusta? 
123 and some change. He did not drink like that. I'm saying. It was more like this a 115. This is drinking very hot. Well, this one's 126. Okay. Yeah. But no, it's I not agree. that much more than that. But it's, it's drinking it's, very it's hot. It's not, but that Augusta, the old Route 8, was more like a 115-er. This is full-on one, 125. Well, I'm not really sad about having to come back to that another day. Because I'm in Scotland and I want well, That's this. what you took over there. <laughs> that's what she took. She wants to have a weed dram. I just realized the other day, I have this Glory Days bottle from Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, which I tasted when we were at um, Jack Rose in that's new. Uh, Washington, D.C. And Ray was there and he was like, hey, you should ha try the Glory Days one. And I was like, that sounds good. And I really liked it. And then when I came home and I was like, hey, wait. <laughs> that We have that. Glory Days. That's, Would you just that's look dark at that? for a sketch, folks? Ooh. Yeah. I miss I miss it. And if you can't tell, I wanted this to finish off my Well, this steak should pair well pie. with the steak and ale pie. Well, I'll have to have it one night this week <laughs> I'm sad. Yeah. I feel like I've been abducted from my home. <laughs> and it's in Scotland. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We killed uh we killed that bookers, Chris. Yeah. <gasps> Twas delicious. All right, I want to taste this sucker when you're when you're done. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so for anyone who's wondering, SMWS twenty four point one seven. Or I'm sorry, twenty four point one six seven. Glory days, thirteen years. It is a uh, space side X sherry, uh, and the final. That's the initial cask. The final cask is a first fill X oloroso hogshead, which. Normally, I'm not a sherry person, so double sherry finish, mm, not really for me, mm -hmm. uh, especially when it comes to bourbon. 63.3% alcohol by volume, which is, what, 126.6? I make you do the math over there. 126.6? I don't even know how many bottles I've opened. That's like a good question. It does kind of look like Coca-Cola, doesn't it? John Paul Jones, that's also a new one. It's tasty. It's good stuff. Sherry just works, in my opinion, so much better with scotch. That tastes like an after-dinner sipper. I don't know if that would be good with the pie. It's also a little heavy because of those sherry notes. Mm -hmm. Chad did not like that I pulled out a scotch on its bourbon night live. He will allow it. Mm. I mean, yeah, completely different ball of wax, but good. I think that... What ball? Where did that come from? I don't know. Who's collecting balls of wax and why are we comparing them? My ball of wax is bigger than someone else's ball of wax. I don't know. That's gross. I don't think that's something <laughs> to brag about. It's not like earwax, I would imagine. It's like beeswax. Where did you get bees? Okay, okay anyways, got keep the bees. going. Um, but yeah, that is more. See, I'm not like getting building heat. On, on this. this. I feel like that's so more in easy. line. Yeah. Sort of pruney. Prune, you know, stone fruit. Yeah, it's like those dark stone fruit notes. Mm -hmm. I think that's obviously the sherry yep. coming into play. Gramps says 24 is McAllen, and that is what I learned at Jack Rose. And if you go and watch that, I made a short about it. Um, I did have this, and that kind of led me into Scotch World. And he was like, well, you should try these McAllens. <laughs> and so we did. So it's a 13 year old um, McAllen. Essentially, cherry, yeah. Cherry finish. Uh, and so we went down the path of that, and I had a great time. And then we went into even more international, like lesser-known whiskeys from India. Indian, and that was really cool. India whiskeys, yes. Um, mm -hmm. That was really fun too. Yeah, I enjoyed that yeah. experience. Just a little little tastes from all over. Yeah. And you know what? I walked out of there just fine. And when I got back to the hotel room, I washed my face and took out my contacts and brushed my teeth and put my retainer in. And that's how I know. I was fine that night. <laughs> that's that's the test. This is how I know. That's the if test. If I fall asleep with my makeup on, and I didn't put my retainer in, that, <laughs> things weren't going so good for me. Yeah, that's true. I just told the whole internet that I wear a retainer because I'm a dork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. She you puts wear on a the retainer. Headgear. It is not. We are oh. not dorks. We are keeping our teeth straight. That's true. We got. We paid a lot for that. Tim Robbins. Okay, I was thinking. The guy from Shawshank was named Paul. But I was like, Paul Robbins? That's not right. Paul Rubens. It's Paul Rubens. And Tim Pee -wee. Robbins. Tim Robbins. So I thought I had a Paul. Less Paul. 
Les, Les Paul, if we're going Paul. That's Wayne. I can't take credit. Oh, Wayne. But no more Pauls. Les Paul. Leo Fender. Yeah, Les. Les, not Leo. No. Um, this one I want to spend some time with. I'm going to, this will be my dessert. And the rest of this. Ooh, I wonder how these go together. Continue. If you're going to keep saying Paul's, I'm going to keep I chewing. can't think of one that people haven't said yet. I, I don't think there is another Paul in the world. <laughs> I forgot for a second that Goodwill Hunting is a movie. And I thought he was saying, I thought Wake Master was saying, good, like, go hunting at Goodwill. <laughs> like Goodwill hunting for <laughs> treasures. And I was like, Goodwill hunting. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I can't even drink that. It's going to come out my nose. <laughs> I misread it and I thought, like, for, for Halloween costume stuff. Goodwill hunting. Because <laughs> we do bourbon hunting, oh. so I thought it was Goodwill hunting. Oh, no. And I was like, wait, that's a movie. Oh. I've seen it. Calm down. Ooh. Will hunting. No, we got RuPaul. I mean, this works together for dessert. Fine. So, South Paul. It's not what I would put together. <laughs> the Mictor's 10 was way better. Yeah. That's true. Those two things were meant to go together. Yeah. I'm going to talk with my mouth full. Booker's after scotch. What do we think? Oh. It's a lot more peanut buttery now. I bet it is. Woo. Wow, it's crazy how much the nose pops out once. Like, again, this is like why we do flight fights and stuff. Because by itself, you know, a thing is contained, right? But then we have something to compare, to it, compare to. it to. And I'm not even trying to compare mm -hmm. it, but just having this point of view back to back with this one. It's crazy how it highlights the different things in them. Yeah. Much more nutty now yeah the nose is a lot more prominent now that i go back to the bookers it's more like a normal bookers now all right well now that i've had a little scotch i think that it might just be i think that might just be really hot i don't think so it's the only thing of the whole night that i've been like <clears throat> i think it's hot i'm not getting that reaction okay we'll have to revisit it on after a salad sometime. <laughs> Fine. Or just not steak and ale pie. Just like a normal sandwich or something. We'll just have like a grilled chicken sandwich. Grilled chicken sandwich. That sounds lovely. Hmm. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of us eating and talking about our food so much. <clears throat> and trying to come up with Paul's. I didn't enjoy that part. <laughs> Two out of ten I, I would loved it. probably not watch again. I loved it. Might yeah. come back, but who knows. What are you thinking about? Paul. Quit thinking about Paul. Wait, Paul. No, it's time to go. It, it It's a character, but Paul was the name of the baby in The Great. They had little... Little Paul. Little baby Paul. Great. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hello. Glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> yes. Sheesh. <laughs> See, they've loved it. Mm -hmm. Vinny Paul. There we go. That's another Dad, one. You don't stop. I'm just saying. Oh, Pantera. All right. Um, well, there we go, folks. We'll be here next week, right? Yeah. 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 We're here. We're here. I imagine we'll be here the week after that, too. October 6th is a Friday. That's my birthday, but we'll be setting up for Bourbon on the Banks. Yep. October 7th is Bourbon on the Banks. That's a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then... That night we'll pack up and I don't know if we come home or not. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. But we'll come home either that night or the next morning. And so that's October 8th. And that's a Sunday. Right. So I don't see why we wouldn't go live. Unless we fall ill. <laughs> well, who knows? It could be like cold and rainy at Bourbon on the Banks. Yeah, that's true. I'm not saying that we will. Yeah. Everyone's like, you're always sick. I'm like, I wasn't sick last time. I just truly, I couldn't talk. She didn't have a voice. I had no voice. Yeah. There would have been nothing to hear. I could have... We could have done charades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that could be fun. Did anyone say Aaron Paul? <laughs> no. Aaron Paul. Bitch. Okay. How could you have missed that one this I, whole yeah, time? I know. I know. I I'm was, actually disappointed. I'm trying now. to think of Paul as the first name. Wow. Yeah. A failure. We, we took it to last names. So, 
Uh, there we go. Did anyone say Paul Walker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's well, I don't know. Plenty of Paul Walker. I haven't been religiously reading them. Peter, Paul, and Mary. <laughs> Get me out of here. But I love you guys. Look, there's been... No, I don't want to look. 652 comments in this hour. And all of them have been about and Paul. All, mostly, I would say, 98% have been about um, Paul. Chad, technically it's been one hour and ten minutes. All right, so. then. How does it feel? Appalling. I, I took that from Brett. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. Let me find the graphic here that says that we'll see you next Sunday. Because we will see you next Sunday. So thanks for watching so much. Uh, we'll probably do a Baker's 13 <laughs> review <laughs> since we didn't give it to you. Chuckles. Chuckles. Okay. Um, but thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.